Welcome to Sage Audio. Today, let's discuss and listen to the top 10 limiters. But first, if you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it with the link in the description. FabFilter Pro L2. The limiters in this video are in no particular order. Also, we're gonna showcase them on the same track with the same amount of attenuation, so stick around to hear each one. The Pro L2 has become a modern classic and a go-to for a lot of engineers. The multiple styles give engineers a lot of flexibility, while look-ahead channel delinking, attack and release, and oversampling offer expert levels of control. I personally enjoy the dynamic style when using aggressive settings. Let's take a listen to it using a 50 millisecond release, the dynamic style, and with oversampling enabled. Voxingo Elephant Elephant is an incredibly underrated limiter. Various modes give you a great deal of control over the limiting. Now, these modes can be edited further in the mode editing section where you can control the channel linking, when the limiting begins attenuating, how it affects transients, and more. Now we made a video showcasing this plugin in a lot of detail, so if you're curious about it, I'd search it on the channel. Let's take a listen to the plugin with the EL4 setting and use the sharp transient function. If you're enjoying the video, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It's free and it helps us bring you more videos. Newfangled Audio, Elevate. Whereas other limiters affect the overall left and right channel peaks, Elevate attenuates up to 26 frequency independent bands. These bands can be affected uniformly or independent from one another, which gives a master a really transparent sound or a very aggressive one if you pair it with the plugin's transient shaper. The transients can also be affected on a band by band basis, and if you want to tailor your limiting to specific frequencies, that's also an option. Lastly, the plugin includes a clipper if you need a truly aggressive and loud sound. Let's take a listen to the limiter with some subtle transient expansion and mild clipping in addition to the limiting. <laughs> Sonic's Oxford Limiter. Although older, this plugin creates a really warm and full sound, as well as offers the option to increase loudness without engaging the brick wall ceiling. The enhanced feature on this plugin brings quieter details forward, while the limiter itself causes a rounder, warmer sound. I like turning auto gain off and blending the enhance function with increasing the input until I get a good balance between the two unique features. Let's take a listen with the same amount of attenuation as the other plugins, but then slowly increase the enhance function. <laughs> Weiss MM1. Softube created a line-for-line -line recode of the DS1 Mark III compressor and limiter, which was repurposed into the MM1, a maximizer and limiter with five algorithms. Similar to the Sonics limiter that we covered in the last chapter, this plugin offers both a brick wall limiter and an enhance function. The five modes each sound distinct, with wide being a great option for a dynamic stereo expansion due to the mid image being limited more than the side image. You can also lower the output in the settings. Let's take a listen with the same amount of attenuation as before and then slowly introduce the amount dial. PSB AudioWare Brick Wall Limiter. This next limiter has a simpler setup but a huge sound. Using the PSP Infinistrip plugin, which models multiple 500 series units, I'll select their brick wall limiter. With this limiter, I'll first reduce the ceiling to cause attenuation, and then increase the output gain, balancing the two to find the right level. Since the limiter has no latency, I find that it works great at retaining transients. The three different release modes, as well as variable release times, help to shape the sound of what you're limiting, from loud and upfront to smooth at slower settings. A soft knee setting also adds to its flexibility. So let's take a listen to it. <laughs> Dead 
Today's video is sponsored by Musia, a chord and melody generator that makes creating music and learning new chords incredibly easy. The auto chord feature lets you quickly create chords within a specific key, then transpose them if you need to. The chords it generates always have a very musical progression, and the plugin even lets you switch the genre. Also, you can drag and drop the MIDI that Musia creates into your DAW, meaning you aren't limited to any particular sound. Right now, they're having a 30-day free trial, so check that out using the link in the description. TC Electronic Brickwall HD Brickwall HD is the only limiter on this list that lets you measure the LUFS of the mix and then set it to a specific setting, which is incredibly useful. It offers three clipper settings, adaptive release, four different modes or profiles, and a ceiling. Useful measurements are also in the top left. Now, I personally enjoy this plugin for dialogue, especially when tailoring it to streaming services. Lastly, when you buy this plugin, you also get this nifty desktop hardware controller. Let's take a listen to it using the general setting, an adaptive release, and subtle clipping while achieving the same amount of attenuation as previous demonstrations. If you're enjoying the channel, use the search box to watch more of our videos. Tone Boosters Barricade V4 Barricade version 4 is the most affordable plugin on this list at roughly $30. Its design is similar to the Pro L2, but it also offers a very useful compression section prior to the limiting stage. With it, you can also introduce saturation, tape emulation, clipping, and more. The limiting section offers eight different modes, including the previous Barricade's algorithm, along with attack, release, true peak, and dithering. Let's take a listen and slowly introduce some saturation from the compressor as well. Flux Elixir version 3 If true peak limiting is something that's important to you, maybe you work in a broadcast environment and have very specific guidelines regarding levels, Elixir is a great option. Its threshold is always true peak, and its multi-stage limiting ensures that you achieve a transparent sound, even with the quickest release settings. Dynamic channel linking and delinking is also a unique feature that I haven't seen on other limiters. So let's take a listen and notice how we don't get any overs or clipping. <laughs> DMG Audio Limitless. A lot of engineers swear by this plugin, and I understand why. It has an innovative design, great sound, and enough flexibility to tailor the sound to any project. It utilizes five bands in a dynamic EQ section, as well as settings like channel linking, look ahead, knee, and more. The threshold includes auto makeup gain. The release can range from 10 milliseconds all the way up to eight seconds, and various styles make it easier to quickly find a setting. Multiple clipping settings and dithering with optional noise shaping is available as well. Up top, we can enable a high-pass filter to increase headroom and intersample peaking detection. An LUFS meter is also a really useful tool that's included in the top right. Let's take a listen. <laughs> If you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it with the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching.